This video is about structuring a wiki, specifically for use in music education, although it would probably be useful to anybody needing to think about structuring a wiki. I'm doing this voiceover off the top of my head, not off a script, so apologies in advance for any ums or ahs. When you create a wiki, the lovely thing about it is that it is completely open. If you want a page, you simply create a new page. You write whatever you like on that page. If you want to create another page for different things, then you can add another one, two, or however many pages that you need. What this can result in is a whole number of pages, all with different information on them. Now, of course, they can be organised by putting links from one page to another. And if you watch the Common Craft video on how a wiki works, you'll see that it talks about making links between pages. So if we take this collection of pages here and we think about information on one page that might be linked to other information on another page, I've used blue arrows to show that. In fact, of course, this wouldn't be enough information. Not all of these pages are yet linked and the likelihood is that you've got lots of information on each page which needs to link to lots of other pages. And we could go on like this linking pages to other pages for ages. Now, the way that this is solved in a wiki, the way that you can get to information that you need without having to click on hundreds of links, is with a search bar. So we simply put a search bar over that, and if you search for any term within your wiki, it will show all of the pages which include that term. However, that in itself might not be the best way to get you exactly to the information you need. And when you first come to a wiki, you might not even know what you're looking for. So being able to browse through information without having to click hundreds of links is also important. Let's have a look at one of the more famous wikis. If we go to Wikipedia, you'll see that down the left-hand side of the Wikipedia homepage, you've got a basic menu. On there, you've got a link to this main page, the home page you might call it. You've also got a link to contents button which breaks pages down into contents. Featured content, pages that are new and interesting. Current events, you can click a button to take you to a random article. And then further down there are other useful links for help not only in locating information on the pages but help in actually using Wikipedia, thinking about how Wikipedia should be used. How can we apply this to blogs that we make ourselves? Well, if you read my lecture notes, one of the examples that I gave was that in my Year 9 class in the past, we've done the topic of minimalism, and we create a wiki based on this topic. So there's my topic at the top, and probably if I'm going to start with a structure, I want to have a home page, which is the page that you come to when you visit this wiki. So I'll add that first. Now you don't have to call it main page like Wikipedia do, you could call it home or index, any of those kind of terms that you see regularly on the internet. Before I then move on, I could ask lots of people to simply start adding pages under the topic of minimalism, but perhaps it would be easy if I thought of just a few categories that can go within that. That will then allow students to structure their thinking within to those categories. So, for instance, in minimalism, two very broad and obvious categories that just about everything could go under would be composers and repertoire. Once I've created those two pages, since they're my two main categories, I probably want to link to those from the main page, so that from the main page you can immediately jump straight into composers or repertoire to start browsing. Now students will start adding their own pages. Once they start adding their own pages, I'll need to think which category they go under, or they will. So, for instance, if they've added a bunch of different composer names, those will then be linked to from the composer's page. So, somebody visiting the website would start off at the main page, they're interested in a minimalist composer, so they click on a link to go to the composer's page, and then they see a link of, well, just f so far four composers who've been linked to from there, so they can go and read those pages. Under repertoire, similarly, perhaps we might have students writing about, say, six pieces, and we'll have individual links to that repertoire. Now, of course, you can probably already think about another bunch of links that we want to make. I'm going to add some light blue arrows now that make links between the repertoire uh, and the composers themselves. 
And those should probably be arrows that go both ways because you might be learning about uh, a piece of particular repertoire and then want to go and learn more about that composer. So you can see that very quickly by thinking about the structure of the wiki, even though the complex relationships still exist, we've made a simple way to come into the main page and browse to the information that we need, thus imposing a very simple and flexible structure. What about if a student comes in and does something a little bit left field? I've got a student, for instance, who wants to write a page on minimalist rock, or maybe some other subgenres of minimalism. Well, that doesn't actually fit under an individual composer. It would have many composers within that genre. It also doesn't fit under repertoire because there'd be many pieces of music within that subgenre of minimalism. So in that case, I need to rethink the structure of the wiki. And of course, because wikis are so easily malleable, this is simple. I can add a genres page, or I could call it subgenres, and then I need to link to that from the main page, and then I can link from that to minimalist rock. So I can keep revising the structure of the blog, uh, sorry, of the wiki, as students go adding more and more pages. And of course, in future years, that web of links between many, many pages will become bigger and bigger as future years add more and more detailed information to the wiki and collectively share their knowledge.